I really don't believe, when I read all the scientific evidence, what Tom and Larry laid out and lots of other folks, that we can legitimately, honestly, cogently talk about climate solutions. We've pushed climate past a point where it is, quote, a solvable problem. Now, that's hard to say. It is harder to digest. And I don't think we know yet what that means. That is not to say we couldn't solve, let's say, a problem of decarbonizing the economy. That's a rather different thing. I think that is a solvable problem. That's a lot of technology and the right kind of policy sorts of things. The second thing I'd, I'd say is this. I think as I read, as an outsider, the scientific evidence about climate, it isn't solvable. It is containable, I believe. And in terms of scale and scope, if not the duration, necessarily. But as a teacher, I think I've got an obligation to tell the truth to students as best I can see it. And that's always, if you're biblical, through a glass darkly. But then once you've created that energy in a form of angst, then it's obligatory on all of us to begin to redirect that energy in radically different ways. Away from the growth economy for all the reasons Herman Daly laid out and toward positive sorts of things to do, to build a better world than what's in prospect. But it doesn't mean we can stay back there in the world of the Holocene. So what, as a teacher, what, what I've tried to do, in the Lewis Center, we had 250 students engaged in the design and building of that place. Can you make a, an entirely solar-powered building? On the, the Green Arts Project I described a few moments ago, we've got, uh, there, there will probably be upwards of 1,000 students involved in that project over the next five years. But I want them to know the score. I don't want them to be paralyzed by the scoreboard. 